Right, this is to demonstrate the new 7 channel encoder update. Um, this uses the uh, DIY More Pro Mini Strong Board. This is a really nice board. You've got your headers arranged around the outside for standard servo connectors. It's got a 16 meg crystal, so it's really accurate. And it's only the tiniest of mods to do to give us a uh, connector for the RF module, so it's really easy to use. It's a smashing board and quite cheap too. So there's one of those inside the uh, Clubman. So once the conversion is complete, the first job is to calibrate the set. And this is slightly different to the original 7 channel encoder. So first thing we do is to check all the trims are neutral, which they are. Then hold the single channel button. Either single channel button will do. The uh, compound or sequential either will do. And we switch on. Move all the sticks to their extremes, including the auxiliaries, and then crucially we centre everything, including the throttle and the auxiliary pots. So everything is centred, then we let go. Now the throttle um, lock alarm sounds because we've got the throttle half open, so it's like switching the set on with the throttle open, so that's why the alarm is there. Low throttle will kill that alarm, and now the, the throttle works normally. That completes the calibration. Now, receiver. We've got a V8FR cell here. So we've got uh, aileron, elevator, throttle, rudder. These two channels don't actually, uh, controls don't work very well actually, because I've repaired them. The pots had gone, and I've repaired them by sticking some presets to them with hot glue and they don't work very well so ignore those they would work normally just like any other proportional channel but they in this particular case I didn't do a good job of repairing them um, right what else have we got um, this is a flight timer so I'm just going to set that first so it can be running well we're going through everything else you hold the button and just count how many pips of flying time you want in minutes so for two minutes that's it, that's a two minute timer set. Um, we've got um, rates there, so that's the amount of movement we're getting. I can turn that down. The minimum is 10%, you don't want zero movement, that could be a disastrous thing. So that's about halfway, and that's full movement. And we've got Expo, and uh, I need to thank. Uh, Mike Kitchen and um, Dave B Beb from the RC, uh, RCME forum uh, for this. Um, the only real way to show Expo is to put it on full. So as the stick moves off centre, there's very little movement, and at the edges, see so around neutral, there's not much movement. Towards the edges, it accelerates. That's full Expo. So you probably you probably fly with that 20%, something like that. Um, to be honest, I don't use Expo much, but we've got to demonstrate it. Um, this is channel 7, which is the uh, retract or flaps or whatever it is. And as before, uh, we've got the range check function where if we flick this three times, the idea is you put the transmitter down somewhere, walk away with the model, and the rudder's flapping away like this as you're walking away, so you can tell. Um, if you're going out of range without uh, having to uh, peer inside for LEDs and things. Um, so that's the range check. A quick flick of aileron stops that. Um, this one is a uh, throttle lock. So at the moment, there's your throttle. Put the throttle lock on. We can't open the throttle. The, the throttle servo stays put, so you can't fire up the, an electric model because the lock is on. If you take the lock off, it's still on low throttle, still held there with the soft lock. You cannot open the throttle until it's been closed. Ah, there's a two minute timer. <laughs> right, at this point you can either extend it by holding the uh, uh, timer button down or you can just give it a quick press and cancel it. So that's the flight timer. Uh, and throttle lock. Okay, um, mixers. 
So at the moment we've got elevator rudder. If I switch off, put the mixer in. This is the flying wing mixer where we've got very little elevator movement compared to a lot of aileron movements. That's 75-25 mix. And contrary to uh, what you would think, it's the elevator servos that move in opposition on a flying wing, not the aileron servos. They're mounted in opposition, mirror image, so that gives you a reversal between the two. Um, so that's that one. And the other way is the VTO, which is the same thing, but it's 50-50. So we get equal elevator and aileron movement for a VTO. And this can only be changed by switching it off. You can't accidentally throw a VTL mix in whilst you're flying. Um, so we're back to normal again there. Right, single channel emulation. We've got one for right, two for left as usual, three for kick up, one for right, two for left. Um, and that can be speeded up by putting one of these links, one of these option links on I think it's D1, I can't remember, but you just put one of these option links on there and uh, that selects a faster speed for the single channel. Some of the lads, notably Pete, um, they used to use really lightweight rattlers on the escapements to make them much faster. Um, so that option gives you uh, just that faster response to the... Uh, it's a bit fast for me, I, I tend to miss it on the fast speed, so this is the normal speed. And then this way is sequential single channel, so you got one way then the other way who knows who knows whether it's right or left you used to say um, one for right two for left for compound and for sequential they used to say one for right two for wrong in other words if you press it and it was right well and good if you press it and it was wrong you release and press again one for right two for wrong um, right what else have we got so that's the mixer channel 7 oh, that's the bind button in there rates expo auxiliary channels, flight timer, throttle lock. Right, I think that's it as far as the transmitter goes. Um, using these um, link options you can select, um, this is Futaba channel order AETR, aileron elevator throttle rudder, which is normal for Futaba. Um, it will also do TAER, which is throttle aileron elevator rudder for Spectrum people. It will also do ETAR, and not that you would ever fly with ETAR, but what that does is it unscrambles the orange module that's got the um, ch a channel mapping in it that you don't want. If you, it seems to be a bit random that when you buy a um, Futaba module from uh, Hobby King, it may or may not have mapping installed. They, they perform exactly the same. It's no detriment. It's just that the channels can come out in the wrong order, and if that's the case. The, if you feed it ETAR, it comes out as proper AETR. In other words, it corrects it to Futaba format. So it'll do that. It does Futaba, Spectrum, or this un, un mix of P thing, ETAR. <coughs> you've got single channel varying speed. Uh, you've got... Uh, what else have we got? Oh, the channel 7 speed uh, can be halved it can be one second or two seconds transit uh, reversing at the moment the uh, aileron servo is following the stick right for right to reverse the aileron you switch it off hold the aileron channel over switch on and then it's reverse the servo so we're going the opposite way to the stick now switch off hold the stick over switch on and that's reversed it back again so I think that's everything uh, thanks for watching and um, the files as usual are on the single channel site modezero.uk and they're on singlechannel.co.uk as well on the archive page. Um, I've kept the old files there if anybody wants them. Um, I know that Sean has been covering um, the uh, a typical conversion in RCM and E, so um, those are the files that Sean used. Uh, but this is the uh, this is the update with the kind of extra facilities. So and and both versions are, are on the uh, single channel site. So take your pick, and both work equally well. There you go. Thank you very much. Catch you later.